What's good, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the Bully Scientist, and we are back. So, as you guys can see, I got Nina here. It's been exactly 28 days uh, since her surgical. I want to tell you guys, I don't think uh, she actually took, uh, mainly because I did see some um, some green mucus coming out of her vulva area. So, um I don't think it's a uh, pile. Let me try and get up out of here real quick. But I do think it's like uh, I was doing some research, and I think it's like something called a muco 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 mitra. Um, mainly because pile is a uh, more like a um a pussy color like a like it's mixed with blood and everything so i don't think it's uh pio so it has something else to do with uh something going on with her so i am going to uh take her to go get an ultrasound today as that's where we're going right now just to see if uh, there is any pups inside of her, so that way I can start treating whatever that is right now. So if it's uh, mucometra or even pio, I can I can treat it with uh, some betro. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and get this uh, ultrasound done. Like I said, I don't think she took. Um, her nipples are showing a little bit, as you guys can see. Let me show you guys a little bit more. Like they poke out, but I don't know. I do not know. It could be a sign of her, you know, absorbing the pups too, you know? So we're going to at least see if she has, if she has some pups, because she, she could have absorbed, you know, a couple pups, but I don't know it's kind of hard but i honestly i don't think she took um you know but if she did even better for me because i've been trying to have some pups off of this dog for a minute uh, well this is actually my second time trying but you guys know how much this dog means to me so we're gonna get to the guy's house um i probably won't record because I don't know. I don't like sticking cameras in people's faces unless they want to. I'll see if he wants if he says it's all right. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna see you guys um, when I get the news and uh, hopefully, hopefully, there's some pups in there. And then uh, even if there's some pups in there, I'll probably take her back to the same vet and see if I can get some more Clavamox because uh, Clavamox is safe for puppies. Um, I'm really hoping um, this vet didn't mess her up because a vet gave her an infection, um, be, mainly because, <laughs> excuse me, mainly because they should have gave me some antibiotics right right off the bat. Got a hair in my eye. That's usually what they do is right after the C-section. They give you some um, some antibiotics. But I don't know, man. Her nipples are looking kind of big, as you guys can see. They kind of poke out, but they're not red. They're not changing color. But this nipple right here is this one nipple. Let's see if I can show you guys. That one nipple right there is growing. Um, so <sighs> I don't even know how I feel about it. Honestly, I kind of want to. You know, make sure she's fine before having any puppies because I can always run it back or not run it back or, you know, try again. I guess you could say run it back. Um, uh, unfortunately, with this deal, I think he said um, he gives me two tries with the same female. And then after that, we have to try it with another female. So we're going to um, we're going to try. Um, if she doesn't take, then I'll run that stud credit with uh, Hennessy on her next though. And Hennessy, her nipples do look like they're growing. So I'll see you guys. Let's see. 
got, she is pregnant, guys. I thought she wasn't gonna take what she did. I mean, she said so far what, like four? Yep. Four, possibly more in there. But for sure, I seen four. That's crazy. That is crazy. I honestly thought she wasn't gonna be. One, two, three, four. And surgical, I did it. I did it probably kind of early too, because they say the surgery is supposed to wait till like thirty, around twenty-five, twenty numbers. Yeah. Okay. What number did you get her at? Well, when I did this, uh, cause I got my own uh, progesterone test. Yeah, yeah. And um, I hit her at uh, I think I bred her. So on that Friday, on that Thursday, actually, mm -hmm. she was at a, a fourteen, I believe. But the vet closed on on Saturday, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna run it tomorrow," and I ran it. So she's probably like in the twenties, the twenties. Yeah, she by she the next day. Been. Could have been. Did they put extender in the semen at all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's benefits too. Because when they put the extender in there, that should last another couple days. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so, I guess I was wrong, and uh, she is pregnant, guys. She said right off the bat. The guy said right off the bat he's seen some puppies in there. Um, he said it's normal for the dog to have a little bit of mucus which I've never experienced it. This is actually my first time seeing it. But uh, he said, as of so far, he's seen four puppies. So I'm happy with that. You guys don't know, like, I'm nervous and excited all at the same time because you guys know how much Nina, Nina means to me. Um, man. So we got some golden child blood coming in, which basically is kind of Rocco blood too. Um, but man, it's been a long time coming, guys. You know, it's kind of emotional, but you know. But uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm going to Petco right now, and I'm gonna try to get um, some kind of canned food or something to mix in with her dog food because she's really not eating. Um, all she wants to eat is like human food, so I'm gonna mix in some uh, canned food. I might go to Costco because Costco has that canned food too, but. I need to get some like puppy mix or something like that. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get to uh, Petco. All right, so we are here. I'll clean this up real quick. So we're here at uh, Petco, looking at this food. Um, got Nina in the basket. We're gonna see what to get her, what kind of canned food. Honestly, maybe this. Probably get some good canned food. Nah, I have an idea which one. She needs a bath. I might go take her to a self spa. Check on the other side. Gotta get her some puppy one. I see everybody hopping on the waves on these uh this Purina Pro Plan. I've never I've never been a big fan of Purina because they do sell this in um not this but this brand in like Dollar General and stuff like that. So I don't know why I'm not gonna pay 70 bucks for dog food like that. But. Well, it's gotta be on the other side. It's just a. Blue Buffalo. I think Origins is a good brand. I'll go around. You good, bro? I'll go around. I'll go around. Let me check. Ukanuba. I heard this dog food was actually pretty good. It's really good dog food.
This is like the old school people used to give this to. I actually never, I might have to give this a good try. Eighty six bucks for what? Thirty pound bag? Yeah, I'm not paying that. Especially with all the dogs I got. <clears throat> I'll get her a toy. Actually I, I did come for um some nutrients that I seen. <clears throat> This is the one. It's actually pretty good dog food. Ninety bucks. The Mirix. It's the Buffalo one. Puppy pot roast. I know she'll tear this up. She's got six of these. Six for 12, 22 bucks. Patties. Oh, it says patties pot roast. Get her this one. Put her on the ground. Wait, wait. It's about 50 bucks. I'm gonna get her that Nutri Cow. I think it's called Nutri Cow. It's over here. I know they got NutriCal here somewhere. It's a good pace to give um, your nursing moms. 